Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I've got for you a very exciting video that I really hope you guys enjoy. It is the organisation and a little bit of decluttering of my makeup collection. Specifically focusing on the drawers that are down to the left of me. Foundations, primers, bronzers, blushes, highlighters and all of my eye makeup. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy and let's just get on with the video. So I'm gonna get cracking and draw number one is foundations, primers and setting sprays. Let's just move you up a little bit. So this is what we have to deal with. We've got foundations here. This is currently beauty blenders, but they all need washing. Primers and setting sprays in one container here. Setting powders on the right here and concealers here. And then there's some like random stuff at the back. I don't necessarily think there's anything in here I would get rid of per se. This is obviously a category of things that I rotate quite a lot. I've obviously got a lot of foundations. I've got the It's CC cream, which I absolutely adore. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, NARS Foundation. This is the Rosing Luminous Skin Enhanced Tinted Serum, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, I haven't used this for a little while. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This is like full coverage, like nothing else. I actually haven't used this yet. This is the Studio London, which is Superdrug's own brand, Flaunt Flawless Perfect Foundation. I really need to wear that. This little container needs a little clean. I've got all of my sponges. These all need washing, so I'm gonna put these somewhere to be cleaned. So I'm gonna take these two containers out and like swoosh these up a little bit so they're a little bit easier for you guys to see. So these are my three setting mists at the moment. You've got the milk one, the elf one and a beauty crop one. My then favourite actual primer is the elf power grip primer. You can see this one is like so far used. And then I've got quite a few other ones here that I actually haven't had a huge amount of experience with. And I've also got some duo glue here for eyelashes which probably could go in the eye drawer. All the other random primers. So I've got two kind of full size glowy ones, one from Anika and one from Rodial. I've then got a little mini of the Skin Nova from Vive. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which I think I've tried once. Yeah, I've tried once, I look at that. <laughs> and then when I was sorting out my skincare collection, I found these two, which are actually primers and not like moisturizers. So I haven't tried those yet because that was only last weekend and I've obviously been sick. And then we've got concealers, which I actually do work my way through. They just take a little while. So I've got a NYX one, which is so nice nearly finished. Two NARS concealers, which are probably my favourite. And I also love the Vive Modern Renaissance Concealer. I've then got the Benefit Boing Concealer. These little pot concealers are really useful. I really need to like take one and leave one at work because they're really good for kind of topping up on the go. One I will get rid of is the Smashbox Studio Fix Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. This is like fine, but I just, I think it's too yellow for me. So I just never really kind of use it. So that is one that I'm going to get rid of. And I feel like this one has been in here for ages. It's like a really really good super light concealer for if I've got a foundation that's like too dark. But I actually don't have that problem anymore because I did have a couple of foundations in my life that were too dark for me. I also think this is now starting to go off so I'm going to throw this in the bin as well. Um, and then I've got two more here. I've got one from Maybelline and one from Rare Beauty. I've then got a couple of powders. Oh no, this is another foundation. This is the KVD Good Apple Foundation which is like a really nice high coverage kind of balm foundation. As you can see I've actually like, I've used quite a lot of it. There's not a huge amount left. I've then got four powders which I'm going to keep all of them because I get through powders quite quickly. The RCMA one is my favourite. I was keeping this for like an end of year roundup but actually I've got a new one in one of my advent calendars so I don't need to keep this anymore. I've got a brush cleanser here from B. This is a really good like touch up brush cleanser especially for eyeshadow brushes. And then what's at the back here? I've got another sponge. I think I'm going to keep it sealed until the other ones that I've got are like you know when like sponges get really grim and you just have to chuck them in the bin. I've got four eyelashes here from Charlie Betty Beauty. I'm not really a false eyelash wearer. They come in handy every so often. Oh, I'm never going to wear that one. So I might get rid of that one because that is, they are bold. Give this a little wipe down. So this is all obviously now clean. I'm gonna put everything back in. I'm gonna time lapse it because it's one of those like really addictive like little clinky sounds. Let's see how it goes. I've like swapped 
the organisation around a little bit because I'm going to do concealer, foundations, primers, sponges because I'm going to like redistribute it a little bit because I think this is probably slightly better. There you go, I've reorganised and tidied it up a little bit. So as you can see, there's no longer a space for sponges. I'm actually gonna find a different storage solution for those because I feel like this just works better. So you've got powders down the side, you've got setting sprays at the top here. There's actually one that doesn't quite fit, so it's actually stored at the back and it's the Beauty Crop one. I think I'll just, I'll either put it there or I'll just cycle it in and out as I need it. I've got primers at the back here and then foundations and concealers at the front. So the things I've taken out of here here are my eyelashes because I feel like they should go in the eyelash drawer and then I've also got rid of these two concealers and an empty skincare thing that I was keeping in here for an end of year roundup which obviously I do not need. So the next drawer is the next door drown which is the drawer that gets very out of hand. Blushes, bronzers and highlighters and as you can see it's 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 a mess and it's a bit of chaos. It's just a lot. I have some kind of weird obsessive blush addiction so I've got loads of powders at the back here. The Charlotte Tilbury one, two of the Vive blushes which are probably some of my favourites. They're like so pretty. I've then got two Natasha Denona's. I've got the blush and glow duo which is stunning and then the bloom highlighting blush which is as you can see mine smashed and i reset it the beauty bay blush two from tarte a sephora a mini hourglass and like a teeny tiny nars which i don't really need so this this is a mini so i have the full size and i don't really know why i keep the mini when i have the full size so i actually do think i'm gonna get rid of the mini one there's a couple of powder blushes in here i think it's just this one glow milk blushed press powder blush from the beauty crop which is honestly one of the prettiest pink colors and then loads and loads of cream blushes in here the only one i'm going to get rid of is the daniel sandler watercolor liquid cheek color ever reach for this it's just not something i ever want this is stunning but i think it's like separated do you think i can make it go back together i think this is a goner i really really like this color but it's the same color as this so i've kind of got the color sorted but this is the beauty crop amelia olivia glow milk blush liquid blush i'm gonna see if i can keep mixing it and making it come back together again because it is really pretty no it's still separated look at that but then i've got a couple of like blushes in tubes like these ones there's three by made by mitchell there's a pillow talk and there's this cloud paint i freaking love and then i've got one of the beauty bay liquid blushes big fan keeping all of them and i've then got some of the putty blushes which are stunning and then just so many cream blushes that i adore bronzers so i know there are some in here that i can get rid of this is not one of them this is my vive mod bronzer which i adore i also have become slightly obsessed recently with my say bronzer this is actually like such a great cream bronzer this which is the charlotte tilbury contour wand which it looks like i've used it loads of times right i actually haven't i'm not the biggest fan of this but i'm gonna see it through to the end because one it was expensive and two there is no no product in here this is a recent purchase this is the beauty bay fawn bronzer which is very warm but actually quite nice so i'm gonna keep hold of that this is my favorite like drugstore cream bronzer it's the nyx wonder stick which is delightful so definitely one to keep hold of i've got my nars laguna which is like obviously so old school also a keep and then the last keep is the merit bronze balm in the shade clay this is like a really good like everyday wearing makeup but not really wearing makeup bronzer and then these two are two that i'm gonna get rid of there's the milani silky matte bronzer and it's just because it's too dark for me like this is such a dark bronzer and i'm never gonna get that tanned and then the iconic precision duo contour pot so you've got a cream bronzer here which as you can see is just so liquidy it falls apart and then you've got a powder bronzer here which is then really shiny so yeah one to get rid of and then this is actually a bronzer but for some reason it's hanging out with the highlighters this is the hula benefit which i I am trying to finish and I'm having some success and then we've got some highlighters here so these three well these four actually are the ones that I use I've got the Ofra mini Rodeo Drive which you can kind of see my usage the other one you can really see the usage on is the Vive Bijou highlighter I mean look at that 
Revolution Lustre Highlighter, which I love. You can't see as much usage in it, but I have used it quite a lot. It's ditto with the Wet n Wild Highlighter Powder. There is a dent in it, but I don't know if it picks up on camera. I've got a new one, which is the Beauty Bay one, which I'm going to keep trying. I'm not 100% convinced by it. It's feeling a little bit glazed donutty, but I will obviously keep trying. Oh my god, this has been tucked down the back, but I actually forgot I even own this. This is the Rosie for Autograph Highlighter, and it's like a highlighting powder. I haven't used this in ages. It's actually really, really nice. It's really natural, but I don't think you can buy it anymore, but I'm obviously going to keep hold of it. These three are liquid highlighters. I just don't think I'm a liquid highlighter person, so I'm going to get rid of all of them. I'm going to clean out this drawer, and then we will cut to the, the favourite thing, which is like filling the thing back up again. There you have it. This is now my drawer of bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. I put the bronzers back in this little container here, and I've got rid of a few of them. But I do have my little hula down here because it actually wasn't quite working in this layout. It probably will work a lot better when I get the like the skinnier hula packet. But I also know that in one of the advent calendars is one of these Natasha Denona duos, which is a bronzer and a highlighter duo. So I thought it was quite a nice way to kind of store these together and bring them. I kind of need one that's like this in half rather than like two thirds, one third. So we've got all of my powder blushes, which actually now fit because it's wide enough to fit this and this in. So these are all my powder blushes. These are all of my bronzers. These are then all of my cream blushes, which are, there are a few more on the way. So I needed like loads of space for them. And then all my highlighters tuck down the side here. Like I said, there are a few that I use all the time, but I've now moved this one to the front because I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I owned it. Oh, I know where I could get one. I will be at the back. Now we're talking. So this makes a little bit more sense, I think, because you've got cream, liquid, powder. I have an excessive number of blushes. I am so very aware, but believe it or not, I actually rotate through these quite a lot. So this is this drawer. The next drawer I don't think will be as visually satisfying because it's actually kind of already organized in a way that makes sense. This is gonna be a time-lapse clips because like I'm gonna keep like all of these there just might be a few eyeliners that are in the wrong place like these aren't black these are color but yeah i need to give this like a little clean but otherwise everything here is staying where it is i think this may have spilt um this one is so dried and i have these when i used to do my vlog which i don't really do anymore so i'm gonna throw them away <laughs> My camera heated somewhere in the middle of there, so I'm not sure what you did or didn't see. But this is now how this drawer looks. Like I said, it looks almost identical. The nail bit at the back, which you can't actually see, looks significantly more organised. And I've put my eyelashes that were in the top drawer in there. So the only thing I've really changed is this, this little section here, which did have a couple of like little eyeshadow palettes. I've put those with the eyeshadow palettes because it's weird that they were separate. And now this is like glitters and pigments and like crayons and whatever this is. You've still got mascaras here. I'm gonna take this one out of the box. So you've got mascaras there, tools, eyebrows, coloured eyeliners, black and kind of like brown eyeliners, palettes down the side, and then my nail stuff at the back. So yeah, it's looking and feeling a little bit cleaner and tidier. This drawer is never gonna look aesthetic. I mean, it's just not. I don't know how you can ever make all of this kind of random stuff look aesthetic, but otherwise, the drawer is done. The next drawer is eyeshadow, which is a drawer and a half. I have so many palettes, like honestly so many, and I freaking love them. I've also got a spare bronzer in here, which is a, say, cream bronzer, but I'm gonna put it in that drawer. I've got my big boy tripod and I'm on the floor because we're gonna have a look at this drawer. Let me tilt you down. So yeah, this is eyeshadow palettes. I'm 100% completely aware that this is insane. I'm not disputing that. There's also two palettes or three palettes in the drawer below, which have to go in here because they are too big. They are the Carnival 3 palette from Be Perfect, which probably my favourite. We've got the Morphe James Charles palette, which is also delightful. I then have a Juvia's Place palette 
Who remembers this? Remember when this was all the rage? The Jaclyn Hill palette. Just, there's something about eyeshadow palettes that just get me every time. Ever be able to like declutter this down to like a normal amount because I have problems. But we will give it a go. The Earth palette, which is a firm favourite of mine. I use this all the time. I got gifted it. I'm obsessed. The packaging is quite chunky. Like it takes up quite a lot of space, but it is like so good. I've then got two Colourpop palettes that a friend of mine bought back when she went to America. I haven't really used them properly yet. I think it's because I've been trying to use up a bronzer and I've been using that bronzer as an eyeshadow So then I haven't really been delving into my more kind of neutral eyeshadow palettes, which obviously these are two of them Oh, this is like I think this was the first uber expensive palette I ever bought. This is the Violet Voss palette ultimate warm toned nudes i love it big fan will obviously be keeping who remembers when these had the entire world on like some kind of chokehold and we all used them and we were all obsessed i mean i feel like they're so chalky but there is just something about them and i don't know if i could ever part i feel like i have a sentimentality to eyeshadow palettes they have to nothing else got the barry m analingus palette which actually has some really nice shades in it it's one of the only few drugstore palettes i own so it's also worth having for that reason this is the Lunar Lives of Drag palette. I kind of really want to get rid of it and buy the bigger one, but that just seems completely counterintuitive. So obviously I'm going to keep hold of this one. <laughs> oh, this is one is so cute. This is the Too Faced Teddy Bear palette, which is like the most adorable thing in the entire world. And I'm so scared of using it and the like little indents disappearing, but that is stupid. I should just use it. Let's go from this side because I keep falling over. Zoeva. I remember I used to be obsessed with Zoeva eyeshadows. I mean, I still like them. I just don't think I'm like obsessed with them anymore. This is the... Cocoa Blends, which was like their like iconic one. I'm gonna keep hold of it just because you know. Sentimentality. Got Endangered Cosmetics here. This is actually really cute. I can't remember if this was PR if I bought this. I've obviously got my Naked Urban Decay Heat palette. Love. I think it's my only Urban Decay palette I still have. Right, let's see how long I can go for again before you guys overheat. It's because you're charging at the same time. This is what I'm going to get rid of. Alex's mum bought this for me, but I just don't use it. It's the Zeo Essence of Nature palette. It's like really, really pretty, but it's so cool. And I'm just not a cool eyeshadow person. Got my Revolution Soph palette. This is really pretty. It's got one of the prettiest yellows in it I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Got two Huda Beauty palettes, which I love. I mean, I've got some of the small ones as well, but like the full size palettes. This is the Mercury Retrograde, which I think I got in an advent calendar. It's got some really pretty colours in it. And then I've got the Desert Dusk palette, which is more like my go to. But all of my palettes look the same. I've then got the Natasha Nona Zendo palette, which I think I'm in love with. Where's this come from? Oh no, the V's come off the front of this palette. I've I've got two Vive palettes, which if you watch my favourites, you'll know that these are some of my favourites, especially this one. It's the same as the rest of them, I'm aware. Another one I'm going to get rid of is the Illamasqua palette for similar reasons to the other one to be honest. It's like a really unique palette. Like this is probably different to everything else that I own, which is probably a reason to keep hold of it, but it just means I never use it. We've then got all of these like little ones in this little pouch at the front here. I've got all of these ones from Beauty Bay, which I, I think these are some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes I own. And then the Pastels palette as well. They're like some of the best eyeshadows in the world. But it's also into the same category as MAC lipsticks. It's just nostalgic. I do actually use it every so often. I don't know if there's a world but I'll ever get rid of this. This is the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. Okay, so all of my palettes are the same. I'm very aware, but I love them. This is a Marc Jacobs palette, which I'm aware is like unnecessarily bougie, but name was rubbed off the front, which I'm not the biggest fan of. The eyeshadows in here are really, really pretty. So definitely a key. This is my NARS Is Old duo, which is as old as when Zoella used to talk about this on YouTube. So this is old. Honestly, if I'm looking for like a really autumnal look, perfect. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Fantasy eyeshadow palette. It's actually really, really, really pretty, but I just never reach for it. And then there's another one in here I don't either. It's this, it's the MUA Neutral Wonderlust, which I think is a dupe of these, the Mini Natasha Nona palettes. There's probably some other stuff in here I don't reach for. These two were like PR our gifts from we make up which we all know they're like eyeliner i love these eyeshadows are actually like they're quite pretty like they're really nice i wonder if i could just buy a bigger palette for them because i feel like if they were all together yeah i'm gonna get rid of these so yeah i'm gonna get rid of all of those i've got two of the elf palettes i used to have all of them but i slowly got rid of them got my natasha zanona i've got two of the huda beauty palettes i've got the topaz one and the warm brown obsessions this little two-faced one which is like super cute one of the charlotte tilbury palettes, which is just 
stunning and then two gosh palettes which are like so old school this one doesn't even close properly this is like when i used to work at super jug and then this is cleaning and obviously restocking but i will let you know how it looks when it's all refilled now how this drawer looks which believe it or not is better there's two that i thought i was gonna get rid of that snuck their way back in one is the ella Masca because i have these shades nowhere else i've put it back and if i get another palette and therefore it doesn't fit it's probably the first one that's gonna go ditto with the fantasy C palette it's really pretty and also it fits so if i get another palette i need to get rid of it i'll get rid of it but until then it stays and there you have it and then i'm not going to sort this drawer out with you because it's just got makeup bags in it i'll pull them all out and i'll give them a sort through i've got this which can clearly go in the bin this is the sunday style advent calendar from last year some gems for when i have to do like fun makeup this is a bag for i think this tripod then i've got some art, art stuff okay so this is now this final drawer which looks so much better this holds all of my pr like bits of paper don't know why i collect them it makes me really happy and then i've got eyeshadow palettes under here which this works this is a little pouch with all of my christmas earrings in so in there it's just like a whole host you can't actually see them it's just a whole host of like christmasy earrings so they live in there and then this has all of my makeup bags in it which i have quite a few but i use them when i go on holiday to put things like electrical wires in underwear makeup skincare hair care so i do actually use them and then i've got rid of these this one's broken this one's filthy that one i've got two of them and then i bought this on amazon and it's just not what i thought it was gonna be and then that is the final draw i'm gonna give the fronts a little wipe down because they're not that clean and then i will show you what i got rid of we have the bits we're getting rid of not that much really and a lot of them are dried up nail polishes very strange looking eyelashes i can't get over these why do they look so weird but yeah there's a few bits in here that i'm getting rid of and it's mainly because they're too dark they're too weird they've gone off i'm gonna call this a day for now so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. And of course, at some point, I will film the second half of this, which will be my lipsticks, but I really want to like swatch them all. And I just felt like adding that onto the end of this video would make this video so long. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!